give it a try, but if Risei-chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. 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 I do smell a dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I, I get this feeling. I've got to send you the map no matter what! This is my time to shine! Oh, I'm getting something! Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around. You better, better not get out on us again. struggling. What, what else was I supposed to do? I, I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something, and then she started getting hysterical on me. <laughs> Who are you? And what is this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All, all that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you, so you don't, don't deny it and cut on my eye. But it, but it turns, turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't, don't make me call for help. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. You'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? Ah! Sh 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 Sh
so people can go completely inside. Good, good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That, that, that happened in our lobby? I, I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You, you hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the force. But it, but it was pure coincidence, coincidence that I touched the screens and discovered my power. I first burst out laughing, laughing when I found out. I knew, I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So, so you tested it, it out on my Yumi Yamano. Nah, it was nothing like that. I, I'm a very sincere fellow. I, I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting yeah, this inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both my Yumi and the Dippy High School girl struggled for no reason. Then you were, were responsible for Saki Senpai's death! Saki? Oh, oh yeah. Her name was, was Saki, Saki Kunishi, or, or something like that. At first, At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her, her being the one who found my Yumi's body and all. And, and naturally, if there was any chance she'd she seen something, something. I'd, I'd need, need to know, know right? So, so I, was I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. bitch. What was this about anyways? Didn't you call, call me in for more questions? questions? Well, we'll get, we'll get to, to that. that. But, you, but know, you know, I saw, I saw you this afternoon. afternoon. You, were, you were getting pretty, pretty cozy with that Namatame. Uh -huh. so, so I'm not good, good enough for you. Well, well I, know I know how to deal, deal with girls, girls like you. you. No, no! I got these high school girls today. This, this world's, world's gone, gone straight, straight to shit. And when I was in school, school I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass, ass off. off. I, I was supposed to be the best of the best. And since that death, they stick me in the boonies. But, but I, I guess I got this power, power to make up for it. <laughs> <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. You don't hear these back, back, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, but well, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I, I walk into a trap trap like that. It was, it was a lot, lot easier, easier the second time. time. High school, school girls are thinner, you know? And lighter. You, you son of a bitch! C come on. Give, give me a break. break. I, I, I didn't know it was dangerous, dangerous inside the TV. TV. It's, it's not, not like, like I was trying, trying to kill, kill them. them. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure, sure they hit on the hot not, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. You, me, and the high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to my Yumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so, so what if I knew? Nah, nah. He called, called the police in the middle of the night just, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The, the rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide. It had happened that I was the one who took the call. Now, now Matame said the police refused to take him seriously. You, you were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If, if anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I, I actually did believe him, you know.
Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! Well, all I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his visions of this world. The more, more people you guys saved, the more more he did kidnap. Both, Both sides, sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You, you gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, none really. I, I could do it, that's all. And it, it was fun. I guess, I guess that's my reason? You, you murdered people just, just for the fun of it? Come on. All, all I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Amatami did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame! Yeah? And how would you prove it? He, he put people inside TVs? <laughs> Do you think the police are that stupid? <laughs> what a shirtwad! I, I do admit, though, I never, I never thought, thought you guys would manage to track me down. I, I like that. Game games, games like this gotta have surprises, surprises or they get boring fast. fast. It's like, like, like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. Well, that was fun, too. Then, you, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I, I did sense something odd in his course of action. He, he had special powers and wanted attention. Why, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that, but that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. My, am I correct? It had been, been a while since I last put someone inside the TV. Boy, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a, I'm a detective. I, I let him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as, long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no, no one would believe him even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah, yeah. He turned, turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank. So they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, the kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me. Who believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone could come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate to pin it on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And, and if that happened, not, not my time it would stop saving people. Could that, that happen? Or the game would be over. That's why, That's why I, I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. If the game would be over? You threw it in just so your fun wouldn't end? You, you gotta have some excitement in life. Don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guys started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? What an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare, dare you murder, murder people? Murder, murder sucky senpai for such a stupid, stupid reason! You, you bastard. bastard! I'll, I'll never forgive you. you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our, our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice that the fog's leaking out? Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The, the two worlds will merge soon, and then, then there'll be no difference. No, no sides anymore. What the hell are you talking about? This is his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. I think this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It just doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This is just, just around to greet you guys. And thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world is taking a real shine to me. I feel, I feel like, like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. wanted. The, the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe, Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The shadow's goal? 
happening by the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! Did I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. What if an end to this? Get back here, you! <laughs> Stuff about the world, world's mind and how this place, place will become a reality. Was she serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We best best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows like over here. You mean, everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Yeah, it's about time we finished this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared! Let's get over-prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid, smug face! Senpai, please don't go on alone. I understand that it must hurt, since you seem to have a personal relationship with him. Maybe that's why. I feel a presence kind of like yours up ahead. He might be calling to you. Wait, never mind. Forget I said that. We're all going together, okay? Promise us. might be calling to you. We're all going 
together, okay? Promise us. This is a problem. Why didn't you bring the rest of them? You're such a party pooper. You couldn't even bring your wannabe detective friend? To what? Change my mind? Don't kid yourself. Your whole gang should be here. You know, work together, beat the bad guy, friendship, effort, victory. You guys love that stuff. Oh, really? Just what was it about me that made you want to believe in me so bad? Well... I don't have anything to say to you. If crimes could be solved by appealing to morality, we wouldn't need the police. The person you believed in was a version of me who only existed in your head. You decided on your own to believe in me, and that decision betrayed you. Why complain about it to me? You say the dumbest shit. It's people like you who come to me alone, naively thinking you can turn me around, that piss me off the most. What do you think will happen if I shoot you? Wow, very optimistic. Is your brain rotting or something? Do you get it now? We're done talking. I won't miss next time. Want me to let you choose? You can go back to your friends and bring them all here. Or you can die now. I guess regular revenge is boring though. Let me see where your detective work takes you. It's always good for a laugh. You're so persistent! Look at all that youthful vigor you've got! Come on, leader! Bring all your friends back here! Well, bye-bye.
Welcome back. I told you not to go alone, though I knew you would anyway. It's okay, I understand. I'll keep it a secret from the others, and I won't ask about Adachi for now. But come on, you should trust us more. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. <clears throat> Attention customers, it is now closing time. Please visit us again tomorrow.
Yo! Yep.
Hey. How stupid. Nope. Fine. Bye.
Hey, 